Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord, the Most High God, for His grace bestowed upon us. He has been so wonderful to us throughout last week. The three days meeting was very timely and it was a, a, a real blessing unto us. I believe you, you were blessed. Let us give a cup of you unto Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good. And all the time, I love this family of God. So close, limited, ain't too well. They're into the hands for oh, I'm so glad to be a part of this great family they're taking me into their hands oh, I'm so glad to be a part of this great family you can sing it better I love this family of God. I'm so glad to be a part of this. They oh, they're taking me into their hands, and I'm so glad to be a part of it. Hallelujah! You're allowed to be part of the family of God. Name above. And name below, amen. Abraham, everybody. Oh, mercy, what is it? Abraham, Abraham, everybody. Yeah, mercy, what is it? Oh.
worship him, worship him. Hallelujah. Ha! 
eyes of the road will seem nothing when I get to the end of the way. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Just make sure you'll be there. Glory, glory. Shall we be standing? We read this from uh, the Augustine family. I'm a pupil. Yes, uh, this from Brother Augustine. It's a Shalom Church. Exactly yesterday marks 10 years of our marriage. So wonderful. A happy married anniversary to our brother and sister. God bless you. May the Lord enrich you. And may the Lord uplift you to higher grounds. Please join us to thank the good Lord for how far he has brought us. Shall we bow ask for prayer? Grace yourself, Holy Father. We are just Lord. Son, express our heart before thee. You know, in the songs, you're giving us assurance of assurance of assurance. And Lord, it's something that thinking our ears. It thrills our hearts. At the toys of the road, we'll see nothing. When we get to the end of the way, you are started with us. And you are going through with us. And you'll bring us to a successful end. And we are there already. That is our assurance this morning. That's why we are here. We have won the victory. Hallelujah. Blessed assurance. That we can say, Jesus, you are ours. Thank you, Father, Lord. Precious Father, we thank you for what you've done in the material family. And we brought them to the 10 mileage. We trust for more and more and more and more. As Lord, enrich them, nourish them, lift them higher, and let them, Lord, yes, turn out gallantly to save your purpose. Bless the children and grant their heart desires, as oh Lord. Bless your people this morning as they offer for the death of their hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, take us to higher grounds. When the preacher comes to the pulpit, I know you're stepping aside. We don't want to see a man, but you speaking to your people. Bless us in a special way. We have this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Please take your seat as we move on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And now we have some requests here to call. The first on the list, this from our sister, Sarah Pepe. The enemy was... Sister Sarah, you're welcome. So let me see. I want to sing to thank the Almighty God for his healing touch upon my life when I, I was sick. Hallelujah, hallelujah. She had had a battle about three weeks battle now. The enemy was just upon her. But thank God. She is here because of the victory that the Lord has won. Let's give a clap of you to the Lord. Hallelujah. Shalom, saints of God. I want to sing to thank God for his healing touch upon my life. On the 28th of October, I felt sick. I didn't know it would take me far the extent of no walking or even talk but i thank god for his healing touch and i want to sing to thank him amen my gracious redeemer my savior art thou if ever i love my Jesus, this night, my Jesus, I love you, I know thou art mine, today all the fallings of sin, I resign, my grace. Redeemer, my Savior. 
Is there ever a time for you to love him? It is now. Hallelujah! It is now. Now we call upon uh, Sister. Okay, let me let me read it. This is from Brother Masupe. I thank God for his uh, grace and protection of my life and also adding another year to my age. A happy birthday to our brother. God bless you. God bless you, our brother. Hmm. You are becoming more younger and younger. <laughs> now, and in view of that, I would like Sister Phoebe to sing a song to glorify the Lord. Amen. I said, I bang. I said, I bang. Now me from my wall. Now I ain't sworn. A jay, now I ain't sworn. Wash up my soul upon me. Hope I ain't a tree charging me. A sign in a mo. I said, I jump. I ain't jump. Now me to a ma wall. I said, I bang. I said, I bang. Now me from my wall. Continue, right, sir. 94, is it a meeting in the hair? You have heard of little... Oh, 
Maria e com cá 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 I love him. I love him. I love him. Oh, he called me first. Love me. Oh, yeah. And first.
from my heart the world and all its charms. Now through the blood I'm saved from all alarms. Now at the cross, my heart is bending low. The precious blood of Jesus cleanses white as snow. Do you love him this morning? Amen. Shall we bow our heads for a word of prayer? Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning. We bless your holy name for watching over us since the last service. And that by your grace and mercies, you brought us together this morning again to come and worship at your feet. We want to thank you for the songs of Zion that have lifted up, rising onto thy throne of grace and mercy. We want to thank you that, oh God, we can have a time to sing praises unto thee, to worship thee, to adore thee, Lord God Almighty in recognition of all that you have done for us and all that you mean for us. Heavenly Father, this morning, even as we approach your word, we pray that thou great Holy Spirit come down, Lord, and take the word and break the bread of life unto us. We pray that, Heavenly Father, the quenching in our souls, the test in our souls, O oh God, Heavenly Father, you feed us with the bread from heaven. That, Lord, will live here revitalized, will live here revived, we we'll live here, Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, looking forward to that day when we shall meet you never to part again in the body. Oh, we give you praise and glory. Come and have your own way. Come and take control of the service. And Lord, let all things be done to exalt your holy name. This is our prayer in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Shall be seated. So God bless you all this morning. Before we go to the service, I want to invite Brother Dan Quay to come and sing, especially our song, Hallelujah. I love that song so much. Uh, so I want him to sing this morning for us. Amen. Just listen to it. We're sure. going to a city. And in that city, the only thing made by man with the, foot, the prince in his arms. That's the only thing that would have to be man made there. But that is to remind us of the, what he did for us. Amen. God bless you, brother. Amen. Shalom, brethren. Amen. I think I have over, observed with some kind of overwhelming joy since uh, Brother Tim's uh, family came to give uh, Thanksgiving after his, uh, his mother's uh, funeral. It was that day that Brother Isaac started this uh, message of uh, our future home. And I've traced it all the way, just watching the way people think, came with faith messages, pastor with uh, predestination, and our Polish brother came in also to tell us something about how we were in God before we even came here. And then, uh, as Brother Isaac have been preaching, you realize uh, he always mentioned about these scars in the hands of him. Almost every now and then he mentioned it. I thought... I should give him as a, a belated uh, birthday present. Amen. This very song. Amen. My eyes haven't seen, nor my ears heard, what my father has seen talk. But when I hear the song of the sweet singing bird, I know I'm closer than I've been before to that heavenly home made by God alone according to his perfect plan where all the things that has been made by man are as cast in the hands of Jesus. When I see a mountain covered with snow that mm. falls from heavens of gold, it makes me too small, for I'm nothing at all to know all the wonders of God. That mansion world 
Where the gates of hell are open, but an angel lick me. Where all the things that has been made by man are the scars in the hands of Jesus. Oh yes, I'm heading for a home built by God alone. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, amen. Where all the things that has been made by man are the stars in the hands of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Brother, I, I'm very sorry. Amen. I, I was a bit nervous. I'm sorry about that. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We must learn to appreciate one another in this world. Amen. My mom once told me when I visited her, God so bless her heart, she's still around. Uh, she showed me her bedroom. She showed me her living room. So what are you going to do about this? Do you want the Lord to take me before you come and paint all of this house? I won't see any of it. So if, if you want to do something, do it. Let me be happy whilst I'm here. That was a real challenge to me. So I went to do all that she wanted. So that she could be happy here before the Lord calls her home. So if there's anything we want to do for one another, let's learn to appreciate one another. Amen. Whilst the Lord has given us the breath of life. Shall we stand to our feet? We want to read from uh, Revelation chapter 21. And we'll read from verse 9 to the end. Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 through to, uh, verses 9 to 27. I'm trusting that today we'll, 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 we'll finish the future hope. We'll get to a point where we'll just pack it by. Amen. Amen. It's been such a wonderful study. Amen. Amen. It's been such a good revelation the Lord has given to us of the things that are in store for us. I trust that even as we've gone through and journeyed this far, it's been an encouragement to your heart. It's been an encouragement to your soul that this world is indeed passing away. But there's one that is coming. There is one that is coming. Hallelujah. Where the building material is pure gold. Pure transparent gold. Crystal clear. Where the streets are not made of beauty. But the streets are made of gold. Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 21, reading from verse 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God. Amen. So there's a new city coming that is for the lamb's wife. That is purposely for the lamb's wife. Amen. Amen. Having the glory of God and her light was like unto a stone most precious even like a jasper spoon clear as a crystal. How we often say that the woman is the glory of the man. Hallelujah. The woman shows the glory of the man. And so this lamp 
this new Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Being the Lamb's wife. And the Lamb is God Himself. She is full of the glory of the living God. Praise the Lord. And had a great, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. And on the east three gates, and on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. Hallelujah. Amen. So there's a city, it had a wall around it. Each of these walls had three gates in it. And there were angels, messengers that were guiding, hallelujah, these gates. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations. And in them, the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he, and he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates, and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square. Hallelujah. Amen. And the land is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with a reed 12,000 furlongs. A furlong is just an eighth of a mile. So 12,000 furlongs, that is 1,500 miles. Okay, so that is how long Ape it is. Hallelujah. Situ that is Ape the length, 1,500, the breadth, 1,500 miles. Just to give you an indication. From here to uh, Borga is about 438 no, miles. 400 miles. 438 miles. 438 miles. But we're talking about 1,500 no, miles. What a city that will be. Amen. Accra will be just like a drop. Amen. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof 144 cubits high, according to the measure of man, that is of the angels. So the wall was 144 cubits high. Okay, it will call it long, uh, One cubit long. is about 1.5 feet. So if you multiply that, that is about 216 feet high. That is how tall the wall is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray. I know it's difficult for us to imagine and figure it out. But it's coming a city. Amen. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper. And the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third uh, Charles Sodini, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth, a topaz, the tenth, chrysoprasos, the eleventh, a jacinth, and the twelfth, an amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was on one, every several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. So there will be streets. No. In that city. Oh, hallelujah. 
Even when we see the asphalt, we think, oh, there are no more potholes here. <laughs> and and we try to stretch our legs a little. <laughs> and enjoy the ride on the asphalt. <laughs> but with time, they deteriorate. <laughs> with time, they begin to develop potholes. <laughs> but this street, <laughs> hallelujah, <laughs> this street <laughs> are made of pure gold. <laughs> Amen. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. There was no temple there. No, what are temples for? Temples are places that we go to worship. But in this city, hallelujah. In this city, hallelujah. He is the object of worship. So we don't need any temple. There. He said, The heaven is my throne. The earth is my throne. So, what temple will you build? Me? That is when the scripture is actually being fulfilled. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, I'm excited. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. The city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of the Lord did lighten it, and the lamp is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. Hallelujah. Amen. So there's the city and there will be nations out there. Hallelujah. And the kings will come into the city to bring their glory and honor into it. Amen. Hallelujah. So remember, there will be a city, but beyond the city, there will also be nations. All these things that we see around us, they are just a foreshadow of things to come. Amen. Amen. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And they shall in no wise enter into it anything that defile it. Neither whatsoever worshipeth worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. Amen. There are books, but there's the Lamb's book of life. The marriage certificate of the bride. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Our gracious Lord, once again, we want to thank you for the reading of your word. Lord, it just brings joy and happiness into our soul to know that, Lord, this world is not our home, but there's one beyond the skies. There's one that you have gone to prepare for us. And one of these days, dear Lord, is just going to come on the scene. My prayer is that even as we listen to your word this morning, Oh, let our hearts be overjoyed. Heavenly Father, let the revelation strike hope that the Lord will keep pressing on towards the mark of our high calling, that nothing will weigh us down, but will run the race that is set ahead of us until we meet you one of this morning. We thank you. We bless your name. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Please shall be seated. So God bless you all this morning. We want to thank the Lord once again for the opportunity to be here to hear his worship. Amen and amen. So this morning we are continuing with our study of the new uh, of the new heaven and the new earth, our future home. And last Sunday, we started talking about the new Jerusalem. Hallelujah. We, we've seen through the study, hallelujah. Amen and amen. 
that we are just going back to what God did at the beginning. There is coming a new heaven and a new earth. Hallelujah. Wherein dwelleth righteousness, like Peter said. Hallelujah. So in this new heaven and the new earth, it's not that God is going to create a new heaven and a new earth. But just as you were a new creature when you received the new birth. Hallelujah. This earth also is going to receive its new birth. Baptized in the times of Noah. Hallelujah. Redeemed and brought back when Jesus shed his blood on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. Through the millennium, it's all part going through the sanctification process. But there's going to come a fire baptism. At the end of the millennium, yeah, be no, no, say, a fire baptism a baptism where all these gems and all the sin and everything is completely annihilated so let's read some of the quotes no, no, let's no, look no, at no. this first quote hallelujah in future home paragraph 110 but now it has to go through a baptism of fire holy fire from God which cleanses the earth and the heavens around it. Then it's purchased so that the redeemed can live on it, okay. live in it in peace. So notice the baptism of fire is to cleanse it from sin, no. from sicknesses. From disease germs, from sinners, from the devil, and, and all of his group, he is to be cast out into the lake of fire. Holy fire from God comes down from God out of heaven. And, and burns it up, notice, to make it ready for God to dwell in it. He does the earth that he is going to use in a plan of redemption the same way. If repented and was baptized in water, by Noah. Jesus came and sanctified by dripping his blood upon it and claimed it. And in the new earth that's to come, is to have a holy fire baptism to clean it of every devil, every germ, every sickness, everything there is, and make it anew. So in this new heaven, hallelujah, oh, blessed be the name, the holy fire of God is going to come down, and that is going to cleanse it. That is going to burn every iota of sin and the devil and gem and, and completely make it anew. Paragraph 168. Notice here, Peter said, and will melt with fervent heat. And the works the ring bent up, not the planet. The, the, works the, the, the works that are upon the earth. As we read in Second Peter chapter 3, is the works that will be bent. All the things that has been made by man will completely be made, bent away. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The works they read. The, the works of man, all their politicians and their schemes and all their denominations 
and mommy's kids will all go with it when it bends. Okay, politicians, okay, I mean, the famous new affair, okay, so as a part of welfare, fair, but I shan't go with you, shan't. So why do you want to put your hope in any of these things? Like Peter said, that seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. All of these things are going to go away. Church one so if there's anything you want to put your faith in, it must be in the unfailing word of the Most High God. And the heavens will pass away with great noise. Did you notice here? The heavens will pass away with a great noise. Listen. The whole earth will be on fire. And it will ignite the gases that's in the earth and explode it. We are told that when you need fire, you need the fuel and you need the oxygen and then you need the source of fire and you, you have the fire you need a source of heat rather so you need the fuel which could be the wood you need the oxygen and then you need the source of heat and when all the three comes together then it just explodes oh hallelujah Amen. praise the name of the Lord Amen. so he said the whole thing will ignite and explode it the Bible said here, Peter said, and the heavens will pass away and the earth with a great noise. Such an explosion will rock it. Hallelujah. Oh my, because it's got to kill every disease, every tester, every tongue, everything there is to be done, the fire will burn it up. And remember, it's not altogether just a literal fire. So even the, the, the volcanic eruptions, that will be the natural fire, literal fire. And all the things will begin to burn. Hallelujah. Amen. It also a holy fire. See, la conclon. See, that the, will take away Satan and all his and all the devils. Both the heaven and earth, amen, will pass away. Killing all the gems, all the incense, all natural life. Even the water will explode. Water is just made of hydrogen and water. Hydrogen, oxygen. Is some combination. And it doesn't always remain water. When it's heated up, it becomes vapor. And at the right temperature, you can separate the hydrogen from the oxygen. It's going to be a big bang. No, they talk about the big bang theory. This is going to be the real big bang theory. Not a theory, but the real big bang in promise. In reality. See, the devil is always trying to run ahead of us. As we see this morning, as we talk about the city. Hallelujah. So we know that this heaven and earth is going to be cleansed. But when it is cleansed, like we saw in Genesis, God, hallelujah, prepared a place, a garden east of Eden where he placed Adam. So when all of this new Adam. heaven and earth has been cleansed, made anew, hallelujah, there will come a new city, the new Jerusalem. 
as we read in the scripture. In the message, the prophet said, paragraph 294, and in the new earth, there is a new city. Oh my, listen close. Don't forget this. That Jesus said in John 14, he will go to prepare. So in this new heaven and new earth, where all the nations that are saved will be abiding, will be dwelling. We saw some will be in eternity because they are given eternal life. The souls under the prison Many, the souls in prison, uh, the, uh, sorry, uh, the souls uh, under the altar, uh, I uh, meant the uh, souls uh, under the altar, uh, those that were given white robes, uh, those that were good to his brethren, many, uh, the foolish virgins, uh, all uh, those uh, that were given uh, life uh, eternal at the white throne judgment, they will be among the nations. But remember before the white throne judgment, the bride has already been raptured and the bride sits with the groom in the white throne judgment. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Jesus said, He is going to repair a place for us. Let not your heart be troubled. I have, I have a reason to go away. You believe in God, He said, believe also in me. They couldn't see that He was God. He said, You believe in God, now believe in me. I'm going to prepare a place for you. In my father's house is many mansions. In my father's kingdom is many palaces. So Christ is dead under the construction of this new Jerusalem. It's not like he's going to have construction workers there. Remember, God created, God does things by His spoken word. So something about, oh, would there be pickaxes and would there be? No, it's not that kind of construction. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. But He will speak His word. And whatever He speaks, that will come to pass. Just like he constructed the earth at the very beginning by his spoken word. Amen amen. amen. Now listen close. Don't move. The prophet said, Don't miss this. Christ is in heaven today preparing the new Jerusalem. And Christ has gone and is preparing a place that's been on its construction for many, many thousand years preparing a place. And if I go and prepare a place, I will come again and receive you. That wherever I am, there you may be also. Notice the Redeemer and the Redeemed. Paragraph 299. Oh, what will it look like? Did you ever think now, bright? What will that city look like? What will it look like? It is prepared and designed by the divine architect. So what will the city look like? Now we are going to talk about it for a few minutes. The divine architect has prepared it. Hallelujah. Designed it. He designed it with tender hands for his beloved wife. What is it going to be like? Hallelujah. So in this new heaven and new earth, yeah, 
When the devil and all have been completely annihilated, now we read in the scriptures, hallelujah, the angels said, Come down, and I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. He carried me away in the spirit. To the great and high mountain. And showed me that great city. The holy Jerusalem. Descending out of heaven from God. Amen. The first thing we notice. Hallelujah. This city had the glory of God. Her, her light was like unto a stone most precious. Even like a jasper stone clear as crystal. This, this were just the, the mortal expressions that John could use. He, he, he was just trying to describe it as best as he could. So in verse 16 we are told, and the city lieth four square. Four square. Hallelujah. So it tells us the base of the city. Hallelujah. The length this way is the same as the breadth of the city. So the city lieth four square. The length is the same as the breadth. And then the angel measured it. And it was 12,000 fellows. The length, the breadth, the height are equal. Hallelujah. So if you look at the tiles on the floor next to you, no, no, that shape is what we call the square. The length is the same as the bread. But it is not, not a flat square. city. Hallelujah. It is not a flat city. It's not a flat plain. But the city has also got a height. Praise the name of the Lord. So the length, the breadth, and the height are the same. And when you look at the geometrical figures, Hallelujah. There are two, there can be a figure like a cube. Hallelujah, which is almost like a box. That's right, so they learn the bread and this are the same. But that is not that kind we are talking about. The prophet said there is another shape. Where the length, the breadth, and the height can be the same. And that is why God sends a prophet. Because a prophet is a revealer. Brings us the divine revelation of the word of the living God. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So the length and the breadth are the same. The, the height is the same. And the prophet said it's the shape of a pyramid. If you can draw that shape for us. So this is how a pyramid looks like. The length. So that is the base. Which is a thousand, twelve thousand felons or fifteen hundred miles. Hello, this she way. She fifteen hundred miles she that way. And another fifteen miles high. She Hallelujah. So that is the city that he's gone to prepare. So you can see that the city had slopes. Slopes. 
Slanting slopes. All slanting slopes are the four areas. If you could just go to the next slide. Hallelujah. So I just want you to figure just how much land that city how big that city is. I just want you to figure just imagine how that city how big that city is. So the city being 1,500 miles this way, 1,500 miles that way, 1,500 miles high, the surface area is over 5 million square miles. Now you can imagine the whole city is over 5 million square miles. So to imagine what it is. That means the surface area, hallelujah, we can fit about 55 times the area of Ghana into that city. Slightly less than 50% of the area of Africa. And if you take the land area of China, Hallelujah. This city is about one and a half times the land area of China. Can you call China? China, but I'm a small dia. Next corner, it to China, no, it could make a fan. Today, there are about 1.4 billion people in China. China, I mean, I could do it. There will be room for everybody in that city. Praise the Lord. I said there will be room for everybody. In that city. Praise the name of the Lord. Hey. So this is just to give you an idea of how large and how big that city will be. Praise the name of the Lord. Hey. But it's not a city that stands vertical. No, like it slants. And so on, the, on the slanting faces, that is where. He's building those houses. That is where there will be those trees and the highways of gold. But it is going to be 1,500 miles high. The highest place on the earth is Mount Everest. Mount Everest. That's about 39,000 feet there about, if I'm right. So that's about seven or eight miles high. So you're talking about that city being really high. Hallelujah. And even at Mount Everest, at a certain time, the, the hills, it goes into the clouds. But this city, hallelujah, is so high, 1,500 miles high. It reaches all the way to heaven. And you know who tried to build a city like that? No, Lemoni, me and Yaka Rama, Genesis chapter 11. Rama, Rama, Matasa, Kutumonikelu. Hallelujah. The whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from east that they found a plain in the land of Shinai where they dwelt. And they said one to another, Go to let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime they had for a mortar. And they said, Hallelujah. This was after the flood. And they said, let us build as a city. And a tower. Who stopped me reach unto the heaven? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. This was the sons that came out from them. On the other side of the flood. And they wanted to build a city. 
a city that will be so high that will reach to the heavens that when it rains, it, no destruction can ever come there. Oh, but our great, our great God had something in mind. And so he will not allow the devil to get ahead. Remember, he is always trying to impersonate Hallelujah. He's always trying to impersonate what God is doing. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read a few quotes from the prophet's message. The breadth and the height are the same. Paragraph 370. That will make it 1,500 miles this way, 1,500 miles that way. 1,500 miles. Think of it. Transparent gold. Today, if you go to the gold mine, if you go to any of the gold mines, hallelujah, if they are going to take you to the processing room, they, they, they set you and they empty your pockets of everything before you go to see the gold. And when you are coming out, you go through all the metal detectors to make sure you don't take any gold out of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read the next one. Paragraph 371. Let's read the next one. Paragraph 371. Let's read the next one. Paragraph 371. Let's read the next one. Mystery Babylon is amassing gold for herself. Babylon, but don't worry at all. We are going to a city. God is preparing a city. Hallelujah. I say, God, our God is preparing a city. Where the material where the substance is made of transparent gold. Clear as Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the So the prophet goes on talking about uh, uh, the, the shape of the city. That doesn't necessarily mean by being equal. The walls and the foundation are equal. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a cube or a square. There's another geographical measure that the dimensions are the same. That is the pyramid. This being this way will answer exactly Enoch's sign in Egypt, the pyramid. So we, we know the pyramids in, 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 in Giza, in Egypt. All the pyramids that were built. Hallelujah. And we went through that some uh, years ago during the Easter meetings where we talk about that pyramid city. And look at where the pyramid city is. Or how the pyramid of Giza is were built. Right at the center of the earth. Like that no matter where the sun is, it never casts a shadow. Enoch had an inspiration. Enoch had a revelation and built all these pyramids because it was just foretelling it was foretelling what the great Jehovah God is going to do one of these days. Hallelujah. Paragraph 380 In the earth's time of purifying the prophet now telling us how the pyramid has to be formed. In the earth's time of purifying by its baptism of fire, there will be volcanic, such as this earth exploding, it will push up a pyramid-like mountain. Plenty of room to do it. 
plenty, plenty of space to do that. This whole thing will be changed. The whole surface will be changed. You got it. It will push up a pyramid like mountain. Amen. Amen. The new city, paragraph 3, 92. Jerusalem here. And the new earth. The new city. Manchester so we saw, it, hallelujah, it, this city is pyramidal. Okay. It's God's slanting it, it, slopes. It, hallelujah. But it's going to be a full pyramid. So why not get after pyramid? Yeah, hallelujah. Because it said God comes down. In Revelation chapter 22, if we read the first few verses, Verse 3, Revelation 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. In Isaiah chapter 66, verse 1, Thus says the Lord, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. So where is the house that you will build unto me? Where is the place of my rest? Hallelujah. For all those things have my hand made. And all those things have been, says the Lord. In the name of the Lord. So if you think of 15 miles high, remember there will be no clouds there. There will be no angry clouds there. So don't wonder how am I going to see the apex of, of, of this pyramidal city? No. How will I see the apex no, of that city? Man, and but you see, at the very top of the city, that will be the throne of the Most High God. So we can go back to the code that we are reading. The new city and the new earth. The new creation. The city on the hill with the throne in the top of it. The throne up there in the top. And the dwellers all up and down on this mountain. Hallelujah. On this throne on top of it, 1,500 miles high, the whole world will see the light of the world. Jesus. Sitting on the throne on top of the world. Oh, blessed be his Amen. Holy. What a place it will be. And because he's at the top where the throne is, his glory will light the whole city. So it doesn't matter whether you're on the eastern face or on the southern face or on the uh, western face or on the northern face because the throne is way at the top. His light will shine through the whole city. And there will be no night there. What a glorious place that will be. I said, what a glorious place that will be. Hallelujah. What a wonderful place that will be. My prayer is that let's all press on. Let nothing come between you. 
Hallelujah. And the Savior. Okay. Because this is a real place that the Lord is preparing for his bride. Paragraph 412. And in here will dwell the redeemed. These avenues and big freeways as it was. Parks. These avenues and freeways, motorways. In the U.S., they call the motorways freeways. U.S. freeways. Hallelujah! So that's the language the prophet is using. These avenues, which are the streets in our neighborhood, and the big freeways, as it was, parks and the river of life will draw run. Right through it. And every house we made of transparent gold. And the streets will be made of gold. Praise the name of the Lord. What a city that will be. Let's read a bit of Revelation chapter 22. Amen. Revelation 22. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. Clear as crystal. Proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Amen. So right from the top. Where the throne of God is, is becoming the waters of life. Oh, hallelujah. And in the midst of the street of it, and on the other side of the river, there was a tree of life. Which bear twelve manner of fruits, while twelve they were you be and you that have fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. For the healing of the nations. Not the healing of our sicknesses and our diseases. Because they are way gone. They were like the healing of the nation because the nations will dwell in peace with each other. It will be a memorial. Praise the name of the Lord. And there shall be no more curse. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. See, no And his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face. And his name shall be on their foreheads. And there shall be no night there. And they need no candle. Neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, Hallelujah. When John saw all of these things, and even as we are talking about it this morning, and we're trying to figure it in our mind, it, it, it's so huge for our mind. We, we, we can't just figure out what God is going to do. And so when John has seen all of this things and trying to think through all of it, and this is really real, the angel said unto him, these sayings are faithful and true. These things that I am showing you, these things that I am revealing to you, these things that we are talking about this morning, they are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the Holy Prophet sent his angel to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. Church of the living God, 
We are not daydreaming. We are not just imagining something. But it's a real place that you can see me and I can see you. There is a city coming. A city that God himself has prepared. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. What a day that will be. Maybe. Paragraph 413. Don't you see that the towns, the cities, the houses, the dwellings, are speaking of that right now. The towns, the cities, the streets, the motorways, the freeways, all those things we have are speaking of that right now. They say, don't you see all these natural things that we see around us? They are just for shadow. Hallelujah. Man, the, the deep is calling. Now, Hallelujah, the deep is calling. And, and, and man feels inclined there is something that is coming. Praise and the, trying to do something. But God is going to be the maker and the builder of the like like city. There will never be no night there, paragraph 419. Him on top of the mountain, flash it with his glory. His glory light will be there all the time. There will be no night there. Jesus, the headstone. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we have the city. But around the city is a wall. Hallelujah. Yeah. So the city has got boundaries. And you see, when, when you make a wall, you make a wall to protect something. So people have a house. And they build a wall around it. Hallelujah. To secure that property. And so before you ever get access, you have to go through a gate. Hallelujah. There are those that are dwelling inside the house. They are the occupants of the house. They are the owners of the house. Others can come and go. But the city has got residence. Permanent residence. Hallelujah. I say this city has got permanent residence. And that will be his bride. Hallelujah. That will dwell in that city. Hallelujah. Where he will be their God. And they will be his people. Hallelujah. All the former things are passed away. Where there will be no aging there. Where there will be no young man there. Where there will be no child there. No old man there. No ending of days there. No ending of days. What a glorious place that will be. What a wonderful place that will be. So the city had walled around it. Hallelujah. The wall around it and within is the city. And the yeah. wall had 12 gates. Bearing the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. And the wall itself had foundations. 12 foundations. 12 layers of foundation. And the wall is not just, just this, our dwarf was 216 miles high. 
the walls are gates. And so the nations that are outside the city that populates the rest of the new earth. Hallelujah. That were not in the bride. Year after year. Hallelujah. Whatever the times element, there will be no time there. But they are no. able to come into the city. And when they are going out, Revelation, they say they will pluck a leaf and go out of it. They will come in, but they are not coming in to stay there. It's only the bride that will be staying within the city. Oh, what a glorious place that will be. Lord, give us a revelation of that. That nothing will stand in your way, my brother. Nothing will stand in my way. Nothing will stand in your way, my sister. We'll put aside everything else. Even today, when somebody goes to Jubilee House, they want to take pictures and show that he was also a jubilee house. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. And maybe post it on their wall. I was also a jubilee house. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is, these are all just man-made things. But even in the world today, they do something that they call the seat of the government. Hallelujah. So in our country, we talk about the Jubilee House. All the old folks will refer to it as the Flagstaff House. Hallelujah. Amen. You go to the U.S., they talk about the White House. Praise the Lord. But there's coming a day. See, we come back. Hallelujah. I say there's coming a day. We come back. There's nothing in this world can ever compare with that. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember in the 1980s. When Nigeria had all the oil money. They built a capital city. Abuja Abuja was was they moved. Lagos is just a commercial capital. Hallelujah. But they went and found a place. A virgin land. I think it was a Japanese architect that won the contract. The that designed the whole city, the whole city of Abuja. And they said, we are going to build our own capital city. And they built it from scratch. But even though they built it from scratch, today, 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 when you go to Abuja, you still see some areas of slum. And not all the buildings it's are finished. It's Even it's after all these years, not all the buildings are finished. But up of this city, it is being built by God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And all the times and the seasons around us are telling us that our home going is near. And it is close at hand. What a glorious day that will be. Oh, hallelujah. The city where God himself is in. Hallelujah. Where his throne is above. See, the pyramids in Egypt were not capped. Because the capstone was coming. But in this city, hallelujah, it is a capped city. Because his throne will be right at the top of it. Because he himself is the headstone. 
So all the things we see in the world today, no, no, what I did like many, if people having an inclination I of what God, God is about to do I mean, I go, no, no, to and doing things that are resemblance of God, the Bible says there will be no more seed there. And we know today, today, the sea covers about three quarters of the whole land area of the earth. So if there will be no sea there, then I believe there will be plenty of land There will be no congestion. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I said there will be no congestion there. Even those that are outside the city, they will have all the freedom they have. Because the prince of peace. Because the king of kings. Because the lord of lords. Hallelujah. The devil who have been banished long away. And, and sin who have been banished long away. They will have their part in the lake of fire which is going to burn forever and ever, but not eternally. The lake of fire is not going to be eternal. Hallelujah. But the people will burn there forever and ever. For how long, we don't know. But it will surely come to an end. And there will be no more remembrance of them. Hallelujah. Oh, what a day that will be. What a glorious place that will be. Let's go to the quote with paragraph 437. Hallelujah. All of it, all of this earth, this earth here we live in now. Hallelujah. Talking about that, there's no, uh, there'll be no temple there. Whether it be Christians or pagans, they have temples. Did you ever think of that? Churches of all of them. But this one doesn't have any. The Bible said, and there was no temple there. The lamp is the light. The lamp is the temple. The lamp is the throne. The lamp is the life. He is that temple. See, all these temples have an object they are worshipping. But in this city, he is the object. He is with his people. His spirit light floods the pyramid city. The tabernacle of God is with men. What a city that will be. Hallelujah. What a city that will be. And Revelation 22 gives us a glimpse of how life will be in that city. Oh, I'm just longing for that city. This world is just full of rottenness and foolishness. This world is no longer our home. It has never be our home. We are just passing through. That is why the Bible says that we are pilgrims and strangers. So in Revelation 22, we read verse 1 to 6. Revelation 22, we read verses 1 through to 6. Listen to what the prophet said. Paragraph 430. The leaves will be for the healing of the nations. That is the kings that live in there bring their honor. 
when they bring their honor in and lay it before the throne of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just like the outside. When they bring their honor into from the blessed land, in that they will reach from the tree of life. When they come in, they will reach for the tree of life. And break off a holy leaf, a leaf of the tree. And they will walk out together. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember in the first church age. In the first church age, Revelations 2 7, he said, He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life. Which is in the paradise of God. So as you talk about this new city, we are talking about that paradise of God. Hallelujah. There is no more war. Everything is peace. The leaves are a memorial for the healing of the nation. Paragraph 436. But look where this one comes from. Talking about the stream of life, the water of life. From the throne. There is where it gets its life giving resources. Comes from under the throne of God. Where God sits. What a day that will be. Maybe. Praise, Praise the Lord. Amen. We can go on and on and on. But we can never finish talking about that city. But being the bride, she will be in that city. The nations that are redeemed will be in the rest of the earth. Outside of the city. What a wonderful day that will be. My prayer is that God give us that grace. God give us that determination. Hallelujah. You've never seen somebody that wants to travel outside? They might have been denied the visa 10 times, but they will try the 11th time. They want to go to that place. So they'll do everything that they can. But where we are going is not a place that is made by man. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's a place that God himself has built. Even yeah. how we make our wives happy. We want to buy some shabby. presents, some gift. Hallelujah. We want to do something special for them on their wedding day. But this will be one glorious eternal day. God grant us the grace to press on towards the mark of our high calling so that one of these days when the morning breaks just so many things are happening in the world today all pointing that our home going is near the rapture is at hand the translation of the saints is at hand don't leave anything on ten. If there's anything you want to make right, make it right, right now. 
If there's one thing you should be crying for, can you look at this and look at the Lord? Give me oil in my life. Lord, baptize me with the Holy Ghost. Lord, baptize me with the Holy Ghost. Lord, seal me into that mystical body of Christ. Lord, seal me into that mystical body of Christ. Lord, help me to lay aside every weight. 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 There is a future home for the bride. 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 There is a this message so that we can talk about this thing and get ourselves ready. Remember, he said he will present to himself a glorious church without spot and without wrinkles. So he has come down in this our day through the ministry of Revelation 10. Through Luke 17, 30. To make sure that we do not miss the mark. God bless all these things that we have heard. And may it be a real source of faith to us. That there is a city we are going to. Amen. Amen. Shall we rise to our feet? We want to sing number 107. In the city where the lamp is the light, the city where there cometh no night, I have a mansion over there, and when free from toil and care, I am going where the lamp is the light. Country far beyond the starry sky. Oh, bless the city where it never comes at night. We shall faithful, we shall go there by and by. Oh, in the city where the love is alive. Oh, in the city where the love is alive. The city where the love is alive. Oh, 
come to church, as we hear the word of God, as we strive within our heart to live by his word, hallelujah, as we do the things that the word of God implores us to do, we are marching step by step in that beautiful city of God. I just want to sing one more local chorus and they will close. Like 
unto the earth, God. Who is like unto the earth, God? Among the gods, there's no one like unto thee. Oh, you are the great eternal Jehovah Lord. You are the great eternal Savior. Lord, we love you, Lord. Lord, we love you, Lord. Lord, we love you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Oh, yes, glory, 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 Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we want to exalt your name. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we want to magnify your name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for leaving your throne above. 
for living your glory above. And Lord, for such rebellious, worthless people as we are. Lord, that you came and walked all the way to Calvary. That what you gave us and we lost at the beginning. To pay the price for it. To redeem it, to buy it back. And to restore us back to what you intended for us to be. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we praise your holy name. My prayer is that, Lord, these things will sink into the depths of our hearts. Heavenly Father, that we will appreciate what you have done for us. Lord, that every day your praise shall never leave our lips. But in everything, Lord, we will forever be grateful unto thee. Glorify your name and exalt your name above every other name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, the song said, Oh, for a thousand tongues to praise my Redeemer. Lord, one of these days we know we shall see you as you are, and time elements will be banished forever. And forever we shall dwell in your presence. You will be our God, and we shall be your people. And so then our prayer is that give us the grace to keep pressing on, to keep marching on, to lay aside every way that besets us. Lord, that we will keep on running with perseverance, Lord. This race that you have set ahead of us. Oh, Lord, may we look at the joy that is set before us. That we will endure all the way to the end. We give you praise. We give you glory. Unto thee alone. Unto thee alone, unto thee alone, do we lift up our voices to say thank you, Jesus.